Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of the circle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we can see there are four squares inside this circle and each square has an area of four. A, B and C are our points of tangency. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and remove the shade from this figure. And here's our figure without a shade. Now let's focus on these uh, squares. We know that each square has an area of four. Now let's recall the area of a square formula, A equal to S square, where S represents the side of a square so that's the side length of each square is going to be two units that means this is two this is two this is two this two all the way now let's focus on this figure once again and we know that this o is the center of this circle and here is our next step let's draw a perpendicular from the center to this chord bc so let's go ahead and carefully draw a perpendicular and this is 90 degree angle and this point by the way is I'm going to call this point E somewhere on this chord BC and we are also going to connect this O to this point uh, this point of tangency C over here then as you can see that this is going to be our radius r and here is our much nicer looking diagram and also keep in your mind that the side length of each of these square is 2 that means this chord bc is going to be 2 units and now let's recall chord of a circle theorem a radius perpendicular to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts so therefore we can see that this chord BC is divided into two equal parts BE and EC and each of them is one unit each so therefore BE equal to EC and our EC value is 1 and here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle OEC. We know that OC is our radius and then EC is one unit. Now let's go ahead and see what is the length of this side OE. We know that each side length of this square is two. So this is going to be two and this side is going to be 2 as well and now this part we don't know isn't it so I'm going to call this part as an X so the total length of OE is going to be from here to here is going to be 2 plus 2 4 plus X so it's going to be 4 plus X so therefore OE turns out to be 4 plus X x and we also know that ec equals to 1 and oc is r and we know that this triangle oec is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem here's the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case over here ec i'm going to call this side a this OE I'm going to call this side B and this longest leg is going to be our side C. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let's fill in the blanks. In our case A is 1 so it's going to become 1 square plus B in our case is 4 plus X square and C in our case is R so it's going to become R square now let's go ahead and simplify that thing one square is same as one plus we're going to take the square of this one by using this formula 
a plus b square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so that is going to give us 16 plus 8x plus x square equal to r square and if I want to put r square on the left hand side I can write as x square plus 8x and 1 plus 16 is 17 and I am going to call this equation number 1. And now in next step let's focus once again on this figure. Let's connect this center O with this point A. Let's go ahead and connect these points and this is going to be our radius I'm going to call R and now let's draw a right triangle ADO. Let's see I'm going to put just a point D over here and this one I'm going to just simply drop this perpendicular over here and this one over here so this is our ADO is a right triangle and here is our much nicer looking diagram with a right triangle ADO. Now let's focus on this right triangle ADO once again and we are going to find the length of this AD. We know that this in the previous step we know that this side was x units and we know that this is 2 units and this is side is 2 units so that's going to become 2 plus 2 4 minus x so side AD is going to be 4 minus x so therefore our AD side is 4 minus x and this side OD is going to be we know this is 2 units and this is 1 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 so therefore our side OD is going to be 3 units and OA is R and now we know that this triangle ADO is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case I'm going to call this side OD as an a this side AD as a b and this longest leg is going to be side c and here's our Pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is 3 square and then b in our case is 4 minus x square and c in our case is r this become r square now let's go ahead and simplify 3 square is going to become 9 plus 4 minus x square we're going to be using this a minus b square formula so that's going to give us 16 minus 8x plus x square equal to r square and now I'm going to put r square on the left hand side so r square equal to this could be simplified as x square minus 8x plus 25 and I am going to call this as an equation number 2 and here are our two equations as you can see and now let's compare these two equations 1 and 2 so we can write this one as x square plus 8x plus 17 equals to x square minus 8x plus 25 and we can see that this x square and x square this is gone and now here I am going to move this negative 8x on the left hand side and this 17 on the right hand side so we will end up with 8x and this become positive 8x equals to 25 and this become negative 17 so we got 16x equals to 8 which tells us that x equal to 
simply 1 over 2. And now in our next step, we are going to substitute x equal to 1 over 2 in equation number 2. So this equation number 2 is going to become this equation r square equal to x in our case is 1 over 2 and then square minus a times 1 over 2 plus 25. Let's simplify furthermore r square is going to become 1 over 4 and that's going to give us negative 4 plus 25. So that means r square equals to 1 over 4 plus 21. Now let's simplify the right hand side. If we add these two numbers we are going to get 85 over 4 and let's take the square root on both sides. We want to undo this square. So that is going to give us simply r turns out to be square root of 85 and the square root of 4 is going to become simply 2. And here it is final step. Let's calculate the area of this circle. And here's the formula of the circle a equal to pi r square. And in our case r is square root of 85 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a equal to pi times r in our case is square root of 85 divided by 2 and then square it. So that's going to give us pi times 85 divided by 4. So that means area turns out to be 85 pi over 4. So thus the area of the circle turns out to be 85 pi over 4 or which is approximately equal to 66.73 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.